I can acknowledge first of all your vision in uh, establishing the academy and the masters because it, it will, it, will uh, it is a transformative event for us uh, here today, but also the, the leaders we hope who will be training the to help the technology. Thank you, Mark. I think it deserves a round of applause. I really won't keep long. It, it's, it's often stated in the past as a different country, and if you're my age, you know, explaining the pre digital, pre connectivity age to children is a, is a task in itself. Uh, the significance of Cleary's clock is lost on the current generation. Uh, and many marriages didn't take place because of the failed meeting under Cleary's clock. So there, there, was, there was a much, it was a world of greater uncertainty and greater chaos, and so much was left to chance. And I find it particularly difficult explaining. Uh, this age to medical students, because when I was a medical student, when you had to look up a topic for a presentation, there was a resource called Index Medicus, does anyone remember that? Yes. There were vast tomes of volumes in Aristotle Terrace Library, and you, were, you had to look up, say, QT phenomenon or hypertension, and you looked up each tome at a time, each stood for a month. And so day one was uh, looking through all the tomes, and day two was then checking to see if Aristotle Terrace Library had the articles, and day three to 43 was waiting for the post to deliver the, the, the large amount of journal articles that Aristotle Terrace didn't have. It's, it, it is impossible to explain that to medical students nowadays. When I say that so much was left to chance at that time, in healthcare we, we can't afford to leave things to chance. And we've seen the, the effect of digital transformation and its impact on safety and quality in healthcare. For example, in digital imaging, only a few sort of short years ago within the memory of many uh, even junior doctors, it, we had we had film-based radiology where they got lost, uh, orders were duplicated, and it was a huge amount of waste. And of course, it was, we couldn't really audit uh, who saw what when and how things were followed through. Now with digital imaging, we take for granted the fact that we have a much safer system with much less duplication, much less waste, and much safer. But then when you see the contrast between all that's been gained and then you go to the CUMH, I don't know many of you have been to CUMH, have you seen that where they have the, the first hospital in the country, where they have a complete seamless electronic healthcare system. And you see how effectively it works, and how safe it is, and how everybody is in tune with it, and how there's real-time information available to, to everybody, everywhere at the same time. But that contrast, once you leave that system, and you exit the CMH, you re-enter the world of paper healthcare records. And in Cork City alone, where I live, one individual could have up to five healthcare records, depending on which institution they're attending. And not only is that not safe, it's, it's completely inefficient. So digital transformation is a critical component of integrated care, and of course integrated care is the vehicle for technology care. So w w without an integrated healthcare record that's available in real time to healthcare practitioners in the community or in hospital, sharing the same information with access to the same results uh, and access to, the same, access to, to, to ordering, uh, there will be no integrated care, and it's no surprise that it is identified by Laura McGalley and others as a critical enabler of Sanji care. Earlier this week I attended the sepsis, the sixth national sepsis summit, and we heard of the early warning score. And this is a reminder how much digital technology has contributed to safety in healthcare. The use of the early warning score, the application of that in emergency settings at the site of an accident, in GP <coughs> surgeries or in hospitals, and the conveyance of that information to somebody else somewhere else has resulted in real safety gains for patients with a, a language of safety, a language of patient, uh, a patient status and prognosis, the prognosis and outcome can be conveyed directly to healthcare practitioners anywhere. And we, we've seen also in drug reconciliation, the application again, simple digital technology can reduce human error and increase safety. And not, with, not to mention, of course, real-time information available at trauma, at, 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 a, at a, an acute setting such as trauma. So, what Martin has established is Digital Academy, which has mirrored somewhat on the UK model, will improve our workforce, including Luddites like myself and others, in terms of their, capa their capability, their knowledge, and their engagement with digital healthcare transformation. And we will train these future leaders, and I'm really proud and delighted to launch today this Masters in Digital Healthcare Transformation which will, is co-designed by all Irish universities, assisted by the new University of Limerick, and the syllabus is collaborative. And Martin has placed bigger emphasis not just on a, on, a, on, a, on a word collaboration, because there's involvement of government, of industry, and of academia in the syllabus, and in terms of recruiting the people onto this programme. I'm delighted that as part of my office, my office chief clinical officer, I'd be 
recruiting uh, 10 clinicians to engage with this program, a mixture of Luddites and, and, and uh, maybe not so Luddite people, so that we make sure that we, we get the best people in there. And the purpose of that is to make sure they go out after graduating through the system to, um, to lead and to evangelize for digital healthcare. And I know with particular um, satisfaction that, that there will not be a 30,000 word thesis as part of this, but will be a real project in healthcare transformation will be part of the, uh, the criteria for qualification. So, Martin and colleagues, congratulations, 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 congratulations,